Welcome to Push Mower Repair. Today we're going to show you how to adjust the RPM on a Briggs & Stratton lawnmower to stop it either revving too low or too high. And this is done with the governor springs and we're going to talk about that and show you those today. So on this mower it revs very high and we're going to adjust that so we'll show you it revving high first. Just start it up. Okay, we're going to remove this screw. And then we're going to remove the air filter with the flathead. Should just pop off. And then here is the springs that operate the governor. And for your video's sake, we're going to take off the cover, but you shouldn't have to take off the cover at home. Okay, so the way the governor works is when the flywheel spins, all these blades push this outwards. And when this is pushed outwards, it pulls the throttle towards um, slowing the revs down. And so there's a few things that can sometimes get in the way of the throttle and stop the revs coming down. And you can see one of them in this case is the on-off wire on the lawnmower is actually in the way of the throttle so it can't come back all the way and so we're just going to prop that out of the way a way where it should not get in the way and then you can see that'll actually come all the way back now another thing that can get in the way is this rib here because if this spring catches like this then it's not going to do much for us okay and so for us we're going to bend this rib out of the way that doesn't affect the performance of the mower at all. Okay, now the cover's back on. We can see that this part is the part that pulls the throttle back. You'll see this spring is in place to maintain a little bit of resistance to keep the throttle open. And then this part is here, because this, when the throttle closes, it also tries to keep it open against this. So, if your throttle is not opening enough, and it's just, just barely revving or idling real slow what you can do is you can pull this spring a little bit you can cut it off make it a little shorter so it's got a bit more spring that way it won't be as, it'll be harder to pull back and will rev higher if it's revving too high like this one was see how we've stretched the spring a little bit just increased it and now it'll rev lower and be more reasonable and be adjusted better so we'll give that a shot and we'll show you so once you're happy there's nothing in the way of your springs and that they've been adjusted a little bit, you can put the air filter back on. You can test it with the air filter off, but obviously not too long because you don't want dirt to get in the lawnmower. Now we've adjusted the spring, put the air filter on, we're going to start it up and see how it goes. So now I've adjusted that, if you can hear, it's running at a much safer RPM and actually the RPM where the most power is likely to occur and so it's all set up good to mow.